Welcome to the EKH Media channel. From this point forward, this is going to be all about helping you do better with your external communications. We're gonna be talking about all sorts of things from how we can do better with our client presentations to using the latest web conferencing platforms, from how do you get out and do a, a one-man selfie kind of live stream to setting up a huge multi-person studio, whether that be in the place in your house, within your office complex, in your garage, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be talking about it. And along the way, we're gonna all get better because it's all about sharing information. I am a middle-aged guy who's lived a lot of life. So I'm gonna use a term that I used when I used to be, well, cool, and that's, Let's rock this Casbah and get started with some information you need to know if you're looking to build a following for your brand. Today, marketing is all about story. It's about the stories of how brands successfully solve the challenges facing their customers every single solitary day. You know, we've all felt that moment where we just have a problem and we wish that somebody or something could solve that problem for us and we've also all been on the other side of it when we found that solution and we breathed that sigh of relief. What we all have in common is we all know what it's like to be mad, sad, and glad. Using story to connect to emotions is the absolute best way to make sure that your brand resonates with your potential customers. We're gonna talk about something we call the four A's. And the first A is awareness. And in its broadest terms, it's simply the number of people who know you exist. If nobody knows you're there, how are they supposed to ever call you, email you, and look to do business with you? There are tons of brands over time who have been exceptional, probably much better than their competition in terms of the product or service that they provide, but nobody ever knew they were there. And pretty soon they weren't. So now they know you exist, but you've got to pique their interest and really grab their attention. And this is often done by presenting them with images that are done in really high resolution. It is that proverbial bright shiny object that you dangle in front of them. But it is also the thing which slows the social media churn and stops them from clicking to the next possible solution and to scroll down on yours and take a look at what it is that you have to offer. If we're talking about your website, it's probably the place where they're going to take that first click, that high value click. So now we have a whole group of people who both know we exist and who have slowed down enough to take a look at the solutions that we have to present to them. But until this point in time, the metrics have pretty much just shown us the number of people, maybe how long that they engage with us, if they've come back, um, and maybe even where they are, right? So we can know that people in certain areas are attracted to us. But to this point, we still don't know who they are. So attraction takes the form of them coming out from behind those masks and feeling comfortable enough to interact with our content. They're making comments on posts that we have. They're igniting emoticons to things. They are on our website filling out a form and letting us have their information so that we can send them an email blast at some point in time or a newsletter. At this point in time, that's when we're doing a really good job. In fact, if we do a good enough job, the content that we were putting out to move them from awareness to attention doesn't necessarily have to be as good. Though I would certainly say you should be always trying to produce better content, not content which is the same or lesser. But the reality is you're gonna have people there to come through and they're gonna comment all the time just because they like being in a forum that you host. Or they're going to just automatically like because everything you put out is so great that 
maybe they don't like it or maybe they don't. <gasps> but if they looked at it, that is, but they're gonna click on it. And because they click on it and because they watch it, it's now going to get pushed out to even more people, which is going to help create greater awareness and then more people who will look at the bright, shiny objects and you'll have their attention and you'll also move them down to that level of attraction. How do we go about that process of taking someone who has an attraction to us and turning them into a customer? It's going to come by having those call to actions on all of your touchstones where they can reach out to you. Through taking their information and sending them targeted emails and at the same time making sure that we have those little trust marks all over the place, the, the Better Business Bureau listing, the testimonials who come from other customers which say, this is a great company. And then these people will do business with you and they will become your brand ambassadors. They will be the ones who will go out and evangelize for your product and to tell other people and to encourage other people to visit your website or share your videos out with other people. And that's what we want. And at that point, they don't actually leave your cycle you move them back in. Because a lot of us have products which, well, as our customers grow, they go into a bigger product. I used to run a tennis program and we would start kids in our mommy, daddy, and me program, which was, you know, a three-year-old on the court with a parent. And then they would move into taking private lessons or they would move into our junior academy or they would move into a higher level, high performance program. Those are the customers you want. The ones that will be around for a long time and purchase multiple products from you. And they're the ones who will provide those trust marks, those testimonials to the other people along the way. Okay, so there we have it, the four A's. What does it start with? Awareness, right? People gotta know you exist, otherwise you won't. And then what do we gotta do once they know? Well, we've gotta get their attention. We've gotta make them want to look at our content, not someone else's. And then we've gotta take that and we've gotta make them just love us. We've gotta get them to be attracted to us, where the first thing they do every day is they look to see if there's something new which comes from us. And then fourth, we've got to take that action because why spend all of this time going through those other steps if we're not ever going to turn them into actual customers? There we go. If you like what we did today, well, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, well, give us a thumbs down and we'll know that we've got to go in an entirely different direction. No matter what, we're going to keep going and we're going to keep trying to get better. If you'd like to be notified when we put out new content, well, hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell, and it will come to your inbox when we put it out. And the next piece of content will be soon. Thank you for your time. It's the most valuable thing we all have. It can't be replaced. It can't come back. Thank you for spending it watching this video.